Hi, um, I am unbelievably excited. I just picked up a brand new symbol. And I know I, I, I'm starting to realize that I have a problem with this. I'm lucky I don't have a lot more money because I would pick up even more. But anyway, I am, I'm really excited about this. Um, kind of completing a circle, uh, if you will, about symbols uh, with a certain series. I want to show you something. Um, I had, I did a video of Stambul 65, right? This is the Stambul 65, famous one. There is the, right there. Okay. Stambul 65. And you can kind of see the lathing here of the Stambul 65, 1965 on the Heisty. Okay, you can see the the width of the lathing process. You can see a little bit of the hammering process in the reflection there. Your racer head kind of hammering everywhere. And this is the um, uh, uh, an alloy, a B8 alloy. That's what we're talking about here. I'm a big B8 alloy fan. So this is the Stamble 65. Unbelievable, unbelievable sound. Um, I, I don't know at the time, I don't think Peisty was like um, pressing them out of a sheet of metal. I'm not sure about that yet. At, that, at this time, in like 1965, in the 70s, were they doing that? Or did they start doing that in the 80s? I'm not sure about that. I have to get back to you on that. But anyway. I don't think so, actually. I think it was a bowl of, a ball of you know hot metal, hot B8 alloy. I'm not sure. Anyway, there is a distinct sound between the older B8s and the newer ones that are all from a sheet of metal that they they stamp out and then work the symbol afterwards. But anyway, so now. Oh. I completed the circle. I love these things. These ones are like, these are my, I love them, the masters. 505 rides, 19, um, 20 inch 505 rides, see? Now look at the lathing process. Okay, you can see the eraser head kind of lathing, I mean hammering right there in the reflection. It's a lot, more, it's a lot easier to see there. And you can see that if I go up real close, you can see that there's a, a thick, you know, line of lathing, and 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 then there's a really fine lathing process. There's a very fine line between that really thick one. Okay, and this is definitely uh, this is 1982 Pisces 505. Definitely beefed up sound. Um, it's it's much thicker than the Stamble 65, um, which is which is this one. You can hear the see. You can hear the. It doesn't have a gongy thing, but you it you can hear the thinness of the metal there. So here's the okay 505 20 inch 1982 this one is made in Germany 505 the one this is the one I just showed you the Istanbul and then you got this is a 505 uh, in Swiss made now it's a cent I mean it's the 505 right but it's made Swiss made Switzerland. Okay. Nineteen that should be nineteen eighty-six. Um now the lathing, you can see it's not as deep. Can you see that? It's not as deep. 
the 505 from Germany. The lathing there, let me see if I can do this for you. The lathing, 505 Germany, Swiss. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. The Swiss one over here looks a little bit more satin, satiny, you know? The German one looks much more, it looks harder, you know, than the Swiss one. They're supposed to be the same. That's not what I'm going to show you, though. Just wanted to point that out. In the 70s, pre-serial Paiste, in the 70s, the first 505, which is what I got, the first 505 black label, see right there? You can, you can barely see anymore, but it is up here, 505, right there, black label. Now that black label looks very much like the 2002 style, where the, it's like the number five is written twice, one larger on top of another. Can you see that right there? Which is very like, it reminds me of Atari and you know that whole thing. Now, this is a 505, uh, 19, there's no serial number here. So it's uh, 19, it's not the 80s, that's for sure. It's like, I think it's like late 70s is when the 505s came out. So up to 79, um, this is what this is. <coughs> Excuse me. So because there's no serial though, can't exactly tell the exact year. But what's super interesting is the evolution of this symbol. It's a little thicker than, than the symbol. But look how close they are. I almost made the mistake of thinking it was. This is the stamble. See the lines? You can see the, the lathing of those. And this is the 505. Do you see? Now, stamble 65 up here, 505. So they, they're, this is the one that started everything, the B8 whole, the B8 process. And then this is, it's a very thin symbol. Um, it's not super thin, but it is thin. It's not paper thin. So this, they go from this one, 1965, and they're slowly beefing up the symbol, a little, you know, year by year, and it, and out comes the would be the famous 505, but it's essentially the same process as the Stamble 65. So basically, the 505 in the 70s, it's a thicker Stamble 65, essentially. Um, it's, I mean, the, the, the lathing is almost identical. It's the same, it's the same, you know, it's the same width. Um, the hammering, uh, yeah, you can see the hammering here. We, a little bit. So you can kind of mix them up, but the 505, so it's a, a 505 essentially is a Stamble 65 thicker. Which is awesome because my Stamble 65 I love, but I'm afraid that I'll break it if I crash it repeatedly. It's great to time, lay time on. It's lovely for that. Um, it's definitely rising, but I'm always afraid. So I, I, I like that sound and I want it a little bit beefier and it just turns out that this is where it is. This one I could definitely crash on. It has that B8 ring, that's awesome. 505, now look at this. So the 505 Pisces in the uh, late 70s evolves to this in the 80s. Look at that. See that? 
the hammering is more pronounced, the lathing has matured. There you go, right there in that, you can see that very well. The hammering is there and the lathing has matured. This is the 505 green label. Both the 505s that I have are like that. This one is the 505 70s, look at that. See? So the symbol was reworked. They liked the alloy and they evolved. The lathing changed completely, actually. The lathing went from what was the Stambul 65 lathing to um, which basically is a 2002 lathing. Pause. The 2002 lathing, I got my 2002 70s. Now look at that. See, the 2002 lathing is very, very reminiscent of the 505 lathing in the 80s. Actually, this is 19... Yeah, this is 1976. 1976 black label. There's the black label, 2002, right there. See, same font. So this lathing and hammering process is very, very similar to the lathing and hammering process they did in the 505s. I have a, like, a, this is a super clean one, you can see it. So the 505, I'm confusing it with the Stambul, it's so close. So the 505, they basically took the alloy, they, um, they gave the 505, which is a, a it's just why people call them like the poor man's 2002, some people say the poor man's giant Pete symbol. The 505, it evolved, not this one, it evolved into, I'm sorry, they, used the lathing process of the 2002s and the hammering process on the 505s and it gets you this, right? So this is essentially 2002 lathing and hammering process. Maybe, I don't know exactly what the difference is between the 505 and the special 2002 alloy. There's something different there. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is. The lathing is a little different. Um, the, there's a, the, the sequence of the lathing, it's not just all the way, two degrees. There's an actual pattern. That's another video. But anyway, I wanted to show you that. How cool, did it again, how cool this is. The evolution of the 505 going from this. They take this lathing of the 2002s in the 70s, put it on the 505s of the 70s, and in the 80s, out comes the famous green label, 505, which is, so, isn't that cool? That's so awesome. Completes my 505 um, collection. And this one I will absolutely be playing with. Um, so, there you go. Found it for a great deal. Cleaned it up. And I cannot wait to play it. Amongst all these other awesome symbols. So, that's it. Just wanted to do this quickly. And talk about this um, for you guys. Girls who love vintage Pisces symbols. They're awesome if you're into B8 alloys. These are um, legendary. Anyway, stay safe, stay healthy, happy drumming. Ciao.